only two weeks today. See, when I'm standing in front, you think nothing is going on. But when I turn to the side, voila. Yeah, I look like I'm about to pop tomorrow. Now, bump wise, that is what it looks like. On the side, straight ahead. See, looks like nothing is going on. You can't even tell. But then. <laughs> How am I feeling today? I am tired. I've been tired. So last week, came back from work at El Paso. I worked a lot, guys. Like five days, four nights in a row, five days in a row, which is like 13 hours shift. And then on Friday, I was supposed to come back and I missed my flight because my wallet fell from my backpack when I was yelling at Kobe. I'm kidding. I was talking to him and my back, my wallet fell and I didn't pay attention. But thank God it was a security man or policeman that picked it up. I am so happy about that, but I missed the flight, so I missed my 21 weeks appointment, which I was supposed to have at 18 weeks. And so I keep pushing this thing forward, but that's okay, because I already know it's my baby girl. I already know it's a baby girl. So since I came back, I've been tired, sleeping like a fool. I just don't know what happened. And oh, my blood pressure drops. It's like 108, 109. And before I was even pregnant, it wasn't even. My normal is like 124, 125. You know, between 120 to 125 over, you know. But now it's like 109, 108 over 70. The bottom number is good. My heart rate is good, which I, I was thinking it would be higher, you know, like more than 100 for someone who is, anyway, ha ha ha. I thought you had babies pumping, so I guess not. But you know, my heart rate is normal, 70 something, 80 something. It's, n it's even better than before I got pregnant, just like my blood pressure. But I get dizzy sometimes, a little bit dizzy, so I take it easy. I sleep, wake up, eat, and I feel like I need to sleep again. And it's so hard handling it with two boys. Boys, all that energy. But, anyways, thank God for hubby. Now, how am I feeling? A little dizzy, low blood pressure, not too low that will take me to the emergency room, but we are watching it because I experienced that with my first. He was a boy, but then, you know, I had, I think at four months, I had some, a little, not too dizzy, just a little lightheaded. Yeah, that's the word. I experienced it with him, and I think I experienced it with a brother, but I never bothered to check. But now I have blood pressure machine. And now it's a girl, so I don't know what to expect as time goes on. And I'll be seeing the doctor. I'll be seeing the doctor next week, so at 23 weeks, for my anatomy scan and all that good stuff. Because I have, I have, it's five weeks. I'm five weeks late. I'm supposed to have done it at 18 weeks, but I'm doing it at 23 weeks. But thank God for availability. Now, I really feel like I'm gonna pop, guys. Look, I'm gonna pop. Now, how do I keep my stomach like this? I probably should talk about this. Now, what other experience am I having? Sometimes I still don't like how my mouth tastes. I don't have nausea anymore. It's just like maybe a wave of nausea once in every few days, and that's it. But it's just more of the tiredness, the blow, blow pressure, and all that. Oh, back pain. And then I noticed that yesterday, two days ago, I was cramping. Just cramp like when I'm laying down. So I don't know if it's Braxton Hicks or something, contraction. I wait every three years to get pregnant, so to have a baby red or whatever. So I always forget how I feel until it's time or when to expect that thing I'm feeling. But yeah, a little tiny bit, you know, it feels more like, like cramps, but not unbearable. And then probably stopped. Plus back pain, just my middle lower back. The middle lower back. But anyway. So back pain and foot pain if I'm standing too long. And of course, I wear compression socks when I was working, you know, because as a nurse, you're working around the whole day, the whole night, the whole time of the shift. So just that pain and then, um, like I said, slight nausea, tiredness, nothing else. How do I keep my stomach like this, my tummy? I do have stretch marks, but I mean, it's not that visible. Because with my first, I never applied anything. Just my regular gold bond lotion. And then with the second, I also didn't apply anything special. It's just my, what do you call it? But this time I switched my, what do you call it? I switched my lotion, my cream and body cream and all that. 
I try to do something more because I know what babies does to us. The more you have, the more ugly your stomach looks. Now, I use, or oh, what do I start with first? After shower, I spray the vitamin C serum mist. So just spray it on my face because, I mean, I got it from, um, what do you call it? I got it from Amazon. But I don't know if this is how my face is. If I find a picture of what my face looked like with the first and second baby, you understand what I mean. <laughs> all broke and like i was breaking up acne it was so bad i was so ugly so i'm surprised and i'm still looking good mm -hmm. and i know it anyways so when i'm done i still apply the serum on my hands I, you know i just put it on my hand rub it together put it on my face and my neck it's also a tree of life uh, vitamin c serum I apply it just on my face those are the two that i do and then The third thing I do is apply the skin therapy oil. It's also Palmer's cocoa butter, cocoa butter formula. Just, you know, I apply it right around there and towards my back area and then towards my thigh because then I have a little bit of stretch mark, just a little bit, you know, like, you know, it's not black, it's not dark or anything. It's actually, I don't even know how to describe it, but I spray a little bit all over my hip area because I'm getting, you know, I'm expanding. So I just rub it down. And then I go ahead with my Palmas Cocoa Butter Formula. It's the massage lotion. If this finish, I can also get the massage cream. I just don't care, but I just didn't expect my skin would still be like this and glowing and all that. I was just thinking because it's a girl this time. Anyway, so I'm using that one all over my body, all of it. And then the final one is my Tommy Butter Stretch Mat Creams. You can see almost done and no none of this is sponsored because i plan to use this for like three months if it finishes it's not working i jump to the next product but i guess this is not bad for a baby number three for a tall child and a different gender so this has the collagen elastin argon shea butter but like i said none of this um is sponsored so but that's what it looks like i got a whole package it was a smaller package from walmart and as the finishing i started getting bigger ones you know but that's what I use on my stomach, you know. I can even zoom in so you see it's not looking, it's not looking on my stretch marks, like my stomach stretch, so the stretch marks disappear. Or maybe it's the lotion. I'm not able to tell, but if you look here, these are the only place I had a little bit of stretch mark. All right, I'm done, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to see this baby. Though, did I forget to mention, I feel her every time, every freaking time. This is her worst part. She always keeps towards this part. So I think she's facing here from when we did the gender review or when we found out the gender. I think, yeah, that was just it. I feel her move a lot. So I no longer use my, my Doppler heartbeat, you know, the, the baby heartbeat monitor at home. I no longer use it, maybe once a week if you know, I'm feeling somehow, but I feel her move. Like it's no longer like vibration. She'll kick it if your hands on my stomach. You can literally feel the kick on your body so but it's not aggressive moving it's just probably four or five times a day when i notice it when i'm not sleeping but other than that guys now that is what this mama of three looks like this mama of two and a half looks like and i can't wait to drop it so i can have myself my boobs i have to get a better bra and all that stuff all right thank you so much for watching fellow pregos or fathers to be i know you must be excited good luck with your baby journey i'll be back maybe next week but i don't think i can record during ultrasound because it's actual doctor's office but then you know, i'll give my update in a couple of weeks or whenever i have the strength because i'm not going to be a hypocrite other than that oh don't forget this crochet i made myself don't forget to check out the video <laughs> I still have it. It's five weeks old now, this crochet. I made it myself. Imagine being five months pregnant and putting your hands up that, that, that much. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But thank you for watching. 
See you in my next video. Stay strong, mamas. We are almost there. We are past halfway. And we can do this, baby. I feel like I'm advertising the product, but it's helping me. And I like my stomach. I'm very confident. I don't even see the black line. I know it's going to come out more, but you know. It's, I don't even see the one I always have under here. I don't know if this is the reason, but... Anywho, bye.